whether you're riding around the inner city suburbs, center of the city, or you decide to fold up your bike, put it in the back of your car and check out some beautiful scenery, the Mamba Tereg is the bike you're probably looking for. The Mamba Tereg, boasting front and rear hydraulic brakes, a 7-speed Shimano gear set, a 16-inch 500-watt rear integrated hub motor powered by a removable 48-volt 18 amps an hour 21700 cell battery with a range up to 90 kilometers. We've got pro wheel cranks and non-slip pedals, front and back fenders, a bike rack on the back, and a basket at the front. An attachable bag that comes with a mini bike pump and tools for just in case emergencies, a comfortable plush cushion seat, a generous front suspension, and 16 by 3 inch all terrain tires. A colorful LCD screen that tells you how fast you're going, how many Ks you've done, and the life left in your battery. Here you can control the level of assistance from 1 to 5 with your left hand. You got a right-handed half-grip twist throttle for that moped motorcycle feeling. A phone holder that has a quick release button that you can hold and easily put your phone onto. Integrated lights. A rear indicator system. A non-invasive sounding horn that you can let people know when you're passing. And all of this tied into a really quirky style e-bike with a lightweight alloy frame. And the best feature of this is its ability to fold into a staggering 50 by 90 by 64 centimeters. So I bet you're wondering how fast is 23 kilo e-bike with a 500 watt motor can accelerate with each level of the PAS. So for most of these tests I left the Mamba Tereg in the 6th gear up until I hit the top speed. So with level 1 of the PAS it reached its top speed of around 10.7 k's an hour at around the 12 second mark from a standing start. I noticed I was able to get a little extra speed when I downshifted the second gear. And so the top speed I got to during level two of the PAS assisting me was around about 17 and a half kilometers in about 14 and a half seconds. If I was shifting from first to seventh gear, I'd be getting there a lot faster, but I do like the leg tension workout I get from starting in sixth. During level three of the PAS, I really started to notice the difference in the torque from a standstill managing to get up to about 23 k's an hour around the 14 and a half second mark and honestly i don't know if i was pedaling faster or not but the acceleration i was getting while in level four from standstill and starting off in sixth gear still is really packed it in getting to a top speed of 28.5 k's an hour in just over 11 seconds So the last test I had was for PAS level 5 and wow, going over 30 k's an hour before the 10 second mark and then reaching its top speed at 34.6 with the 6th gear. I did shift up into 7th because I was maxed out and I did feel like it could have gone and hit 38 k's an hour if I tried for it. So very fast. With great speed comes great responsibility from these hydraulic brakes and 16 by 3 inch tires. So I ran some tests with them on a wet road to see how they go. Gonna run a little brake test doing about 15 k's an hour locking the brakes. Wet ground. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. That was more 18 than 30. And see how well these hydraulic brakes and the thick these fat boy tires are gonna be same spot all right what's this 25k yeah 25k is an hour yeah, it breaks pretty well i'll tell you that 
And last test, I am gonna push it to about 30, 30 plus Ks an hour. Get that thing going. Break around the same area again. See how quick they break. Plus, you know, the ground is a bit wet, so. Bum, bum, bum. Almost, almost stops in the same spot almost every single time. Now let's talk about the Shimano 7-speed gear set. It's such a dream. Shifting down from 7th to 1st straight up is just so smooth, and gearing back up while you're riding up a hill is just as expected. Nice and cruisy. And gosh, even if you don't want to pedal up a hill, the throttle and the 500-watt motor will take you up there on most inclines, even without moving your feet. And at last, the suspension. I think it wasn't even highlighted in the feature on this particular e-bike, but surprisingly it was really good and enough for the sort of trails I go to to enjoy the scenery or take photos. I very much enjoyed riding this e-bike. Such a cool ideal way of transport. Great for anybody who doesn't want to spend money on a car and all its extra expenses or anyone without a license. Anybody in a small city apartment can simply fold the bike, put it in their home if need be. Not to mention the no need to search for parking when you go to the busy beaches or you're traveling around the city with overpriced parking. The Mamba Tareg is simply on another level. Thanks for watching.